What's up guys, it is Chris back with another watch video. Today we have an unboxing slash review of a new Bangalore watch company, uh, watch that actually celebrates Indian space exploration. It's called the Apogee. I've actually featured their watches on my channel before. One of their watches that I featured was uh, a watch that was used for or is used for cricket, for keeping score during a cricket game. I don't know much about cricket, um, however, I thought it was a very nice looking watch and it was very well made. Now I feel the same way about this watch. Uh, it's actually very good looking and it's pretty well made. Uh, there are a couple of little things about it, but there are some things that they've already been addressed or are addressing in the production model. So this is a prototype and you can see it has a barrel case or a tonneau case, blue fume dial with applied indices. Uh, you have loom on those indices. One of the things that they've already said they're going to change is the window right here at six o'clock for the date. Uh, that will be loomed as well, which I think is really cool. It's very black on the outside and then it becomes a dark blue towards the inside. You have an inner rotating bezel, um, which is kind of cool. It has a 24 hour track and then a 12 hour track. So it's sort of a stepped bezel. So you're getting both tracks there. You have an applied logo um, and like I said, everything is loomed, the hands and indices are loomed. However, I don't believe the tracks are loomed, but we will do a loom shot at the end to double check that. It has a tonneau shaped or barrel shaped case made out of titanium. It is a grade two titanium with a heavy, heavy bead blasting on it. It almost looks like it has a finish on it, like a Cerakote, but it is not. It's just a very heavy bead blast and sort of dark as well. So uh, I'm not sure if that's from the finish or the actual color of the titanium that they're using. Uh, the buckle as well is in that same material. That will be signed. This one is not. However, they said the uh, production model will be signed uh, with the BWC logo. Of course, uh, Bangalore Watch Company right on here. Uh, this is sort of like an IWC style buckle. I've seen this on other watches. Uh, very nice strap as well. Uh, leather on both sides, quick release. Uh, very good looking strap as well. It's sort of a black, just a pebbled leather strap, which is nice. Very comfortable. Like I said, I've been wearing it on and off. Um, and it is a very comfortable watch. Very nice case back as well. You just get, uh, it's like, I think this is the moon and then there's a sort of um, a little space module on here and it gives you information about the watch on the, uh, on the case back. It's very deeply engraved, not rough at all. Uh, it doesn't feel sharp. It looks really good uh, and looks very crisp. Uh, the crowns are very big and very grippy. Uh, they are long, but not actually wide which gives you a lot of grip. So you get a lot of grip with these crowns. The crown that actually controls the time here at the uh, three o'clock does not screw down. So it does have a push pull. Uh, you know, there's two clicks. Obviously you have a date. This is Salita SW200 standard edition. Um, and that's really that. But then they do lock the timing bezel. I think that's because obviously you want to lock that timing bezel. That is a little bit rough on this production model to open and close and, and actually screw in for one reason or another on this uh, on this pre-production model. This is a prototype. They said that they are already addressing that as well. I found one other small issue with the, uh, with the bezel itself, and I'll throw up a picture of that. I cannot get it to line up. So uh, I think that's the printing on the bezel itself, and I'm not sure if they're aware of this or not, but the 24 and the 12 do not line up. So it's very hard to get it all to line up uh, in a row at the 12 o'clock position. So that is something that uh, I think is a little bit off on this watch. But other than that, I really do like the overall quality of the watch. You have a flat sapphire crystal with AR coating. Um, and like I said, I really like the design as well. It just says Bangalore Watch Company and then that logo. And then there's some coordinates on here. I'm not sure what that actually refers to, uh, but it, I could put a link in the description to what that refers to. Uh, I couldn't actually find anything about it, but I will find out. Um, anyway, let's throw it on my wrist so we can see, and then we'll talk about price. Uh, today I have a very special watch on, a watch that is going back to Elshan over at Zelos. I am very sad to see this watch go. Uh, this is the Mirage with the eight day Le Joux Pere movement in it. Uh, very good looking watch, really will miss it. Um, so 
That's a titanium watch. This is also a titanium watch. This is grade two titanium. I believe the, uh, the Zelos is also grade two titanium. I don't think it's grade five, but there you go. So this is a 40 millimeter watch. I don't know if I mentioned that yet. It's a 40 millimeter watch. It has a 44 millimeter lug width. Um, it wears a little bit bigger than that because of the tonneau shape of the case and those big crowns that are on the side of the watch. Um, however, it's not very thick as you can see, and I'll do a measurement for you to, uh, to determine the thickness. I think it's around 12 millimeters thick is what I measured. Um, but you do get a flat sapphire crystal. So it's 11 point, actually, let's see, get it in the right spot. So it's almost 11 millimeters thick, not a thick watch at all. And then, like I said, that lug to lug is a true lug to lug. It's a little bit over 44 millimeters. It's like 44 and a half millimeters. 40 millimeters uh, for the width of the watch. Really cool. Uh, crowns as well. Let's do a quick measurement on that just so you guys could see. Crowns are around six millimeters thick, but like I said, they are long, so they're actually uh, a lot longer than that. I think they're longer than six millimeters. They're probably somewhere in the range of around six millimeters long as they are thick. So very grippy. I actually do like the setup and it looks kind of cool. Um, you know, sort of pointing out there, uh, you have to like it. If you don't, that's, uh, that's completely up to you. Anyway, uh, price on this is 925 or $950. I'll put the exact price in the description below, but it's over $900. I think it's on the more expensive side for a watch that's in titanium with a Selena movement from a micro brand. It is definitely on the more expensive side. Um, you have to like the look. They are trying to offer a little bit more of a premium package. You could see from the actual packaging, you're getting a nice leather watch roll um, and all of that, but it is expensive when you compare it to other micro brands, uh, providing you a Salita SW200. Um, you know, you get dual locking crowns on a lot of those other watches. Uh, that would actually be helpful with this. But uh, anyway, you know, if you like it, you like it. $950 is not a bad price. Uh, you do get a very nice dial and that titanium. Uh, if you don't, then obviously you're going to bulk at that $950 and you're going to think it's very expensive. But very quickly, let's look at the Loom and then wrap up the video. Well, there you have it. Loom isn't terrible. Um, I wish there was more Loom, obviously. The indices are small. Um, and then the hands are pretty liberally applied with Loom. Uh, so are the indices, but there's just not a lot of surface area for the Loom. So they're kind of small. Uh, areas of loom on each indice. Anyway, uh, I also wish that they loom the uh, track that goes around the inner rotating bezels uh, or bezel, excuse me, one of the tracks or both of the tracks would have been nice um, and also helpful uh, in the dark. It would have been nice to have been able to see that. Uh, but other than that, not terribly loom. They're also going to loom that little window. They're not going to be actually looming the date, I don't believe, just the actual circle that surrounds it. Uh, that's just for help in the dark for orientation. That's basically all that adds. Uh, other than that, it really doesn't add any benefit. $950, I think is a decent package. Uh, I think it's on the more expensive side and you really have to like this watch, like the company, because I do think that they make pretty high quality watches. Um, for the price, I think, you know, it's a little bit of a stretch, but if you like it, it's definitely a cool watch. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watch Chris blog. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.